Hey Cupcakes, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by, like, share, and subscribe. So, I want to do a reading. And it's 11.42 p.m. And it's July 28th. Okay? Alright. Alright, let's see. I was seeing in these cards, um, oh, the observer. I was seeing the um, TikTok, and I was seeing time to go, and I was seeing um, what's that other card? Crap. TikTok, time to go, the observer, and um. the higher power all right let's get some messages i feel like somebody could be watching y'all or this could be spirit watching somebody watch you and letting you know that there's an opportunity at hand that you need to get on you know so let's see so somebody could be watching you to see if you missed something or if something came in but there's definitely a watchful eye on you or eyes you know let's go yeah i think uh, i'm trying to tell you somebody is heavy on your you got you on you heavy on somebody's mind or this could be you thinking about something how to start a new cycle not wanting to repeat a cycle you know what i'm saying yeah some type of rebirth let's let's um yeah let's just think of spirit something about 44 yeah a soulmate so somebody could be watching you or this could be somebody reminiscing i mean you are heavy so some of you could be 41 or 44 you know yeah let's get one more yeah i'm telling you somebody know you make them happy look some type of change in the wind i don't know if there was a shift or something but yeah somebody is definitely in look thinking about you this could be somebody who's hella nostalgic about um you know past memories of you or this could be somebody who's an, who's awakening to your energy you might be waking somebody up yeah look this could be a masculine yeah something could be faded i told you yeah, somebody might want to send you some type of message. What's next? Yeah, because you guys are definitely blessed and highly favored. Somebody might want to make something right. This could be somebody you have a family with, because this is my little family card. You see all of them going? Yeah, somebody might want to give you something, and deep down, you know this is coming. Look, but for some reason, you can't envision what is to come, but you know something is on the way. ooh -wee. that's what's up. I'm seeing the twin flame in here. I'm seeing the twin flame in here. I'm seeing the um, life changing decision. Also, manifest. Mm -hmm. I, I speak in some truth. I see the eternal love as well. Um, yeah, and manifest. All right, let's go. Oh, something is flipped over. Healthy boundaries. So maybe this is somebody you had to set healthy boundaries because they was acting like a fucking karmic. <laughs> or maybe this is who they're setting healthy boundaries with somebody. Yeah, past life. Yeah, they could have some issues. If this could be their baby mother, their ex wife, or you know. And they have to um, share custody. Maybe somebody's giving somebody a hard time about the children or splitting the assets or whatever. This could be a harsh divorce. Yeah. Hot and cold, in and out type energy. Somebody could be awakening. I told y'all. All right. What's this thing for spirit? What is on these people's mind? Self-love. Somebody thinking about how much they did, they took from themselves. 
how they overgave to family and friends and possibly didn't um take the time to really pour into a partner you know what's this soulmate yeah i told you <laughs> <laughs> look i cannot speak your truth i told you somebody could be stuck on some type of memory of you honey yeah somebody might want to open up somebody thinking how they didn't show you no love man they could have tried to bruise your ego or try to body shame you or this could be somebody who just you know spoke mad things up like was just speaking ill will to you just very mean-hearted mean-spirited never had nothing nice to say didn't want you to have a big head in a sense and it's like shit if me and you together why wouldn't you want to big me up you know fucking hater this is a hater mm -hmm. this soulmate now you make them happy i told you somebody learning some harsh ass lessons on how to treat people yes sir what's this uh-oh yeah counseling somebody could be talking to somebody and this is where all of this is coming from you know how some of y'all could be spiritual um, leaders and stuff, spiritual advisors, life coach, counselors, therapists, psychi psychiatrists, you know? What's this happy, happy? Oop. Yeah, I told you. Something is faded, honey. A faded meeting. Destined. Happy, happy. I'm not getting up. <laughs> I'm not fucking getting up. Um, past life relationship mirroring energy cleanse. Yeah, I tell you. All right, so somebody could just be thinking about pouring back into them thinking about love or maybe how they could have sabotaged something you know around love or with the soulmate that they know something was definitely destined now they could be stuck because you're happy possibly happy without them you know yeah maybe this is somebody realizing that they needed to pour more into them instead of just being an overgiver and given to the wrong people. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know why people always want to ring my motherfucking bell. Like, you know? Like, last night, it was not... Yeah, somebody could be in regret. It was 9.36 last night, and I was in here well, well in my fucking sleep, and my fucking bell rang. I'm thinking it's somebody that belong up in here. This fucking lady gonna talk about Aldo bitch I just looked at her fucking ass like yo fuck out of here <laughs> so some of y'all could just be annoyed with people and their bullshit yeah maybe unsure and decisive alright spirit what's this thinker and self love maybe somebody thought self love wasn't they were giving themselves self love but they weren't you know Maybe they were just overthinking. Maybe somebody always thought about the idea of possibly doing it, but never actually got around to doing it. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why every time I come on this bitch, I be yawning and I be fine. I be doing so good. Yeah, home. You feel like home to someone. Mm-hmm. New home or moving in together. Let's make it official yeah yeah somebody might want to have a baby with you yeah somebody trying to figure something out with possibly somebody they have a child with yeah self love and home maybe somebody want to um redecorate their home possibly moving maybe they feel like they can't give themselves the care that they desire at this specific location maybe they feel like um, 
a soulmate is holding them back or they're just too stuck on the soulmate and they feel like if they possibly relocate that, you know, maybe there'll be some type of energy shift or energy exchange, but I don't think so. I feel like somebody's just running from a connection and they're not realizing that they're going to have to, you know, heal something within them that, that keeps making them sabotage, you know, situations that they know are good for them. What's this stuff with the soulmate? I heard been over, been over, been over. Yeah, yearning. Look, somebody yearning for y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Possibly this person possibly wasn't even fucking treating you right when they had you. Somebody could be looking at old pictures of you. Oh, man, this shit about to cut off. I don't know what's been going on with my electronics, but they are not having it yeah somebody could feel powerless without you they need some type of energy exchange missing you thinking about the good times i never had someone like you i told you i fucking told y'all this is what i was feeling when i came on this bitch la, 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 la. yeah soulmate wow y'all see it soulmate we're going to take it. Soulmate on soulmate. So you and somebody are definitely mirroring each other. Yeah. Businessman, this um, slow and steady. Slow to commit. Um, boss will take care of you. Only wants one woman attracted to you. <coughs> no more chances. So this could be somebody you leaving in the dust. All right. What's destined and happy? Then the two cards fail. Let's see. Sneaky link and no friends with benefits and springtime. So this could have been a sneaky link. Somebody was, you know, look, I love you. And I was hearing, take me to the moon. But I know it's fly me to the moon. So I can dance with all the stars. Jupiter and Mars. So I don't know. I love you. So, I don't know, Frank Sinatra's heavy in this energy, um, something about 1965, you guys could have definitely closed something out, it could be divine timing to end whatever this is out, um, this could be somebody you were sleeping with, you could have friends with benefits, your soulmate, or a twin flame, and back in the springtime, or many moons ago, for me to say fly me to the moon, it says, well, Friends with Benefits says, I really like you. Hopefully, this can turn into more. Yeah. This soulmate. Or maybe somebody didn't realize at the time that this is who you were to them. Um, party time. Yeah, getting out, enjoying life, concerts, and parties, gathering, and traveling. Yeah, so something is destined with maybe somebody you had a Friends with Benefit relationship with possibly turning into a soulmate maybe you guys had a good connection but you know life could have like yeah wedge and things could have you know pulled you guys apart maybe they had a baby on you or if you guys were just friends or benefits it was nothing serious so maybe they went and had a baby with somebody you know that's why you can't be in them third party situations honey yeah y'all could have started ignoring each other Maybe you thought you had an STD, but you're good because on this card it says great results. You're clear. Nothing to be worried about. You know? Anything else, Spirit? Let's see. Yeah, somebody is pissed off. <laughs> yeah, figuring it out. Frustrated. Yeah. Businessman. Yeah, so whoever this masculine is, he going through something, child. He definitely going through something. Yeah, I told you he probably trying to manifest you in, but they could have betrayed you real bad. And maybe you thought y'all were just friends with benefits. Maybe you weren't seeing nobody. You thought he wasn't seeing nobody. And yeah, tower. In all actuality, it was a shocker when you found out this motherfucker had a family and everything. Lived in a home with somebody. Oh my God, it was devastating. Yeah, and it, it just and you felt you felt violated. Yeah, heartbroken. 
So you could have cut this person off. Yeah, work hard. It's over. Take me to the moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you guys could like flannel shirts. Um, you could have, you could probably didn't even know why this person could have just ghosted you, and you could have found out they had a gender reveal party. Was this look like a gender reveal to me? Yeah, you guys could have had a lot of good times together, did a lot of things together. If you had an issue, you would call this person. If they had an issue, they would call you. So that's why it was such a shocker. Somebody could have used you as a rebound. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Somebody could have used you as a rebound. That's fucked up. Yeah, five of cups. Somebody could be in a lot of regret, my dear. All right, what's this thing of self-love and home? Yeah, four swords. This could just be even you, self-caring. Like, you decided to end whatever this is with whoever this soulmate was. You could have known this was a soulmate and just pour back into your home, which could be your vessel, your temple, your, your own energy. You know? What's this um, soulmate, soulmate yearning and stuck? Maybe you feel like you're stuck because of this soulmate, but they could just be projecting on you. Yeah. Somebody can't let you go. Yeah. Somebody might love your sex because we know the Nine of Cups is all about sexual energy, you know? So maybe somebody can't let you go. Maybe somebody's been... That's what I'm saying. They need your energy to possibly manifest or uphold some type of lifestyle or, you know... Yeah, that's why they can't release you because you could be helping them manifest. And then there go Jupiter. You could be realizing this. This Capricorn. You know? This person could be codependent. They could be trying to save your energy to um, manifest some type of wish fulfillment or keep some type of lifestyle they have going. They could see you living some type of good life and want to come in and reap those benefits with you. You could have definitely worked with this person or you're supposed to be working. You could have been contracted with this person. They could have a Capricorn Jupiter. Mm -mm. Jupiter's here twice. So this is definitely somebody. Um, expansion. Pisces energy. Libra energy. So something has to be made right. Somebody could be dreaming about you. Somebody could have been in some type of illusion about you. Somebody could be holding on by a thread. You know? Or maybe you putting back this you know doing some type of um self introspection and going within possibly getting some rest relaxing rejuvenate and recharging is um going to help you get out of some type of stuck energy maybe you and this so may us stuck because y'all have not fulfilled this contract but this could just be you being stuck when it comes to your finances, needing to save better, um, or you're going to get some type of wish fulfillment or some type of Jupiter's kiss in order to help you, you know, make certain moves that you want that's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness. Or this could be this person not being able to come towards you because, um, you know, they could be going through something in a home dynamic with whoever the hell that was that was pregnant. Yeah, nine of swords. Yeah, seven of cups. Yeah, somebody put you in competition. They could have thought they had a lot of options. Somebody could have just been confused. What is this happy with the destined springtime and friends with benefits? Yeah, I told you. Somebody could have lied to you. Somebody's hella burdensome. Somebody could have definitely lied to you about who they were sleeping with at the time. 
somebody could have just been lying to you. Remember, I came in here saying that um, somebody could have been trying to shame you or make break your self esteem. Yeah, somebody could have just been lying because you were so beautiful and very confident, very sexy, very alluring, you know. And I guess they had to tell themselves whatever they could tell you, like tell you whatever they needed to tell you to be able to sleep at night. Because this looked like the same girl. It's like he lying. He don't want to walk away, but he is, you know? Somebody knew they walked away from the best thing that ever happened to them, but it's like they had to break you to make themselves feel good. Mm -hmm. They could have just been lying to you just to, you know, sleep with you. They could have possibly came in telling you that you guys were fucking soulmates and lying and not believing it to, for it to really turn out to be true. And now here they go talking about, you know, something's destined, that you make them happy, you know, they want something to be more, you know? Yeah. Something, excuse me, something about Egypt and Peru. Yeah, somebody's spying. They go opening your heart twice. Two different decks. Yeah. But I feel like um, somebody needs to just go on and release you. These cards fell over here. Water sign and they'll be back. You know, give it time. I don't think y'all want this person back, to be honest. You know? And I think that's what they wanted to do, like, like stunt your growth in a sense. They might have known you had, like, abandonment issues, or maybe they thought you had self-esteem issues. Maybe they felt like just because you settled with them that, um, you ain't had no self-esteem. Y'all could have had a run to chase a dynamic where you was always, um, you would always be the one to call first, but that was that motherfucker, um, calling you in and you might have not even known. And you wasn't like, well, I'm thinking about that person, let me call them, but it was a setup. And then it was like, you know, a setup for you to call him or her, not knowing that they were doing magic to call you in, to make it seem like you were coming back, you know? That, that person could have even said that to you, like, oh, you always you always come back, though. And it's like, bitch, you do too, so stop acting like, you know? So, yeah. You could have just been thinking, like, you know what? I'm going to have to detach from whoever this is because they come with too much fucking headache. Soulmate or no fucking soulmate, you know, you could have realized that you were stuck because of this person with their non committal ass. And it's like somebody kept throwing like um blockages in your way because they could have been harvesting off of you, you know, they could just want your sexual energy. That's probably how they manifest through sex, you know what I'm saying? They could see that you're happy. And they're thinking about how they could possibly come back in and, you know, mess with you. and Or not necessarily. This could just be you finally meeting someone and you're happy, you know? You could just be thinking about how much you have neglected yourself. You know what I'm saying? Neglected your well-being. And you're no longer doing that. This could just be you taking time for yourself. You know, maybe you just stuck on the idea of meeting somebody and you need to kind of like let it go. You know what I'm saying? Focus on your money, focus on your pentacle, focus on your future. Because Jupiter's here and Jupiter want to give you, you could have two possible soulmates coming in, you know? And this could be one pulling on your energy and another one who you are fully in alignment with. So you're going to have to possibly definitely make a choice. So this could have been a friends with benefits coming back that lied to you. And this could be somebody you met in the springtime, you know, while out meditating or walking at the park or whatever. So it's completely, yeah. 
You should be taking trips, not facing challenges at this time. You've done your healing work, and it's like, what's going on? But there's still somebody either tethered to you, or you need to release something, you know? <clears throat> I kept hearing, take me to the moon, so I can dance with all the stars. Jupiter and Mars. You know? And then I heard, I love you. <laughs> yeah, so. Pretty with it, y'all. Alright, Spirit, let me get one card. To close off this reading. Yeah, <laughs> I told you. Didn't I come in here? That's the first thing I said. I said somebody got an eye on you. They heavily watching. Watching. Let's read it. Okay, I need my glasses. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Yeah. Yeah. This could even be you happy and doing your business and realizing that this is why something ain't work out because somebody came across some information like this is why something ain't work out because somebody had a baby on the way this is why they didn't want to commit they were just using your sexual energy to manifest and build their life with whoever this was okay that's why they can't let you go you know, holding on for dear life. And they see you transforming, but they not transforming. They do not want to let you go. They keep yearning for you. Because whatever's going on in their life, now they're possibly stuck. You know? Stuck on the idea of never ever having or being able to be with you again. And you just over here happy, minding your business. And this person possibly keep pulling on your energy. And, but you're like, it doesn't matter what this person say or does. You remember the lies. You remember all the deceit and the dishonesty. And you taking your power back. Period. I heard my daughter. Period. Yeah, I told you. Somebody could be trying to see if you're pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Let me get one more spirit. I see the narcissist in this bitch. Yeah, move on. <laughs> Somebody trying to spy to see if you have moved on. And you definitely got a soulmate coming in. It says someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. Yeah, this could be this person. Who is, you know? Caution because they could have some type of STD child. Didn't I tell you love spell? They could be calling you. They need your energy to manifest. I cannot. Yeah, look at that help. I told you. Be careful. They could be trying to come in just to get you pregnant. And you possibly have another soulmate coming in. This could have been somebody else you were sneaky linking with, you know? But, yeah. You could have just took your damn power back and decided to, yeah. Somebody might need to come in and confess, confess that they have some type of health issue. Or maybe somebody's thinking about all the people they slept with and they're trying to backtrack and you might be getting a concerning call. Maybe they want to see if you know or, you know, because they probably trying to figure out, okay, well, if this person's pregnant, that means they don't have it, you know? So weird. Instead of just coming and telling you. Yeah, health again was on the bottom. Let's see what these are. Yeah, gold digger, mercury retrograde, and give it time. I'm telling you, so somebody could be watching you to see how they could circle the block but don't do it i call back all my energy collective send back all yours purified and cleanse call back all my energy for everybody in this household purified and cleanse thank you for the messages most high and i will talk to y'all later y'all have a great rest of y'all night and make somebody hard spot too